Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the vacant TNA Knockouts Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA Hall of Famer, Mr. Earl Hebner. And now, from Universal Studios Orlando, it's time to crown a new Knockouts Champion. Introducing the combats, first of all, Standing to my left, she is challenger number one, Rosemary. And now, introducing competitor number two. Standing to my right, this is Chad. Madison Rain, I can see goosebumps on your arms. The Knockouts competing in the main event for the vacant Knockouts Championship. The Hall of Famer, Gail Kim, watching Six Sides of Steel. And it's on! And Rosemary has attacked Jade. The bell is rung. Remember, the only way to win this match is by pinfall or submission. There's no escaping the cage, but they've got to get in Six Sides of Steel. This means trouble, I believe, for Jade. Rosemary is so dangerous anywhere in the impact zone. And Jade, this was the plan of Rosemary. She attacked Jade. She brought her out here. So this benefits Rosemary. Absolutely, Rosemary. That is her playground. We know what she's done in the past when it comes to battling on the outside. She ain't afraid of no steel. She ain't afraid of no trash cans because she's going to bring it to Jade. Madison, how quickly... Does Jade need to get back inside six sides of steel? You know, I'm not counting Jade out at all right now. Rosemary's morbid, and we don't know a whole lot about her wrestling style. But what I do know about Jade is she's a fighter. She always gives 110%. That's why Gail has endorsed Ooh. her as the future Ooh. of women's wrestling. Great series of kicks there by Jade. She trains in Muay Thai. She goes for the cover and a kick out. Muay Thai's a lot of quick strikes, correct? Quick, hard-hitting strike, and also, you know, Jade may not be the biggest knockout, but I don't know that there's anybody in the locker room stronger than she is. Absolutely. Jade, looking for a gut wrench here on Rosemary. Nice offense by Jade. Weathered the early storm of Rosemary, and now Jade will go for a lateral press, hooks the inside leg, and a kick out at two. Who will win the vacant knockouts championship? It's our main event inside Six Sides of Steel, and it continues after this. Welcome back to Impact on Pop. This is our main event for the Vacant Knockouts Championship. It's inside Six Sides of Steel. It's Jay going one-on-one -on -one with Rosemary and the former Knockouts Champion, Gail Kim, the Hall of Famer, is ringside. She is cheering on Jay. She endorsed Jay. She endorsed Jay as the future of women's wrestling. You know, Gail may be sitting here looking at herself not too long ago. She was in the first ever knockouts cage match that this company ever had. First ever knockouts champion of Rosemary. She acted like she was going to go for the mist to get Jade to duck. Hope you often talk about how similar you feel that Jade and Gail Kim are. Absolutely. You talk about ooh, setting the bar, ooh. setting the standard. Ooh. That bar has been ooh. set in place by Gail Kim, and we've seen Jade has gotten so close to raising that bar even higher. Schoolgirl here and a kick out. Rosemary interrupting may have quite possibly been Gail's retirement speech was nothing short of a call. Yeah, Rosemary came out here, and that's what that's when the rumors really started, the retirement rumors of Gail Kim. We'll never know what Gail had to say on that night. Rosemary came out, and she missed the Gail. Yeah, and you know, Gail had tears in her eyes, it appeared. So that started the speculation. But there's no more speculating tonight because we are in store to have a new knockout champion. And you heard Rosemary yelling to Gail Kim, there's your chosen one. The one that you want to be the light in all of this darkness. We survived the great war is what Rosemary said earlier in a flying clothesline by Rosemary. Madison, I have to ask you, what does Jade need to do to get back into this match as I thought Rosemary was going to go for a cover, but more punishment? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, the downside here is that, that Jade, doesn't, Jade doesn't know what Rosemary's 
arsenal of moves that she doesn't know much about her. Rosemary's had plenty of opportunity to study Jade and to try to get inside the head of Jade. She does that. You'll see it on social media. She tries to get inside Jade's head, but you can't get inside the head of somebody as strong, as, as just, like, powerful as what Jade is. Rosemary calls Jade blue on Twitter. Jade calls Rosemary red. They go back and forth quite often on Twitter. We were talking, the three of us, during the commercial break, that in a traditional match, without six sides of steel, that Jade would most likely win that match, but with this environment, it's it's a toss-up. Yeah, definitely a toss-up. I mean, you gotta give the edge to Rosemary because she's been in this type of environment many times before. Rosemary's biggest strengths is playing into the head, mind games of her opponent. Jade is going to have to find a way to stay focused, use her strength and her wrestling athleticism. And you can see that Rosemary is using six sides of steel to her advantage. Madison, you know Jade very well. I mentioned earlier that she won her first knockouts championship in a match that involved you. How hard does Jade kick? I don't know that in nearly a decade of being part of the knockout division that I've ever been in the ring with anyone as strong, as solid as what Jade is. What do those kicks do to your body? They rock your body in a way that the human body is not supposed to be rocked. I mean, it knocks the wind out of you. It puts you in pain. Like it, 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 oh! Rosemary showing her strength. She just threw threw Jade into the cage. Yeah, and Jade's entire body just went down and scraped against that cage. And now, we talked earlier about not knowing the style of Rosemary. I think you're seeing it here. It's a forceful style. It's a ground and pound style. And we've seen this in the past as well. Oh, boy. Yeah, you know what she's setting up for, it appears. Rosemary and Jade. Jade saw it coming. And Jade saw it in the garbage can of Rosemary in the corner. That should knock that demon out of Rosemary. It's going to take a lot more than that, I think. Disturbing is Rosemary. And now, a top rope Hurricane Rana, courtesy of Jade. Yeah, Jade's offense is so sudden. She's always one kick away from a victory. And now inside six sides of steel in a match that must be won by pinfall or submission for the Make It Knockouts Championship. This is what Pope likes to see whenever the six sides of steel is up. You gotta use it. That's what it's there for to keep you in, but it also is for your own using. And she is ramming Rosemary into that cage. Couldn't think of a better environment for these two to compete for the Vacant Knockouts Championship. And you can see Jade now just utilizing her strength. Shoulders down of Rosemary, new champion, and a kick out at two. What does the endorsement of Gail Kim do for Jade? What does it do for her confidence? To be endorsed by somebody like Gail Kim, who arguably has made women's wrestling what it is today. And look at this German suplex. And that's got to give Jade all the encouragement in the world. That's got to give her all the self-confidence to have somebody like Gail tell you, I believe in you, and I see a lot of myself in you. There's no greater compliment to a female athlete. And it was just recently that Gail used those words about Jade. Jade went for the package pile driver earlier in this matchup and Rosemary was able to avoid. And remember, there's no escape in the cage, so when Rosemary is going to climb here, she's just thinking about pain, destruction, and punishment for Jade. <laughs> she may be trying to escape after re receiving all that she's received from Jade, that's for sure. The same could be said for Jade here. She knows there's no escape, so all, she, all she's out for right now is to hurt Rosemary. Jade is going to the top of Six Sides of Steel. Shades of Gail Kim, 2006. Great point. Jade is up top, high above the ring. Oh, boy. And Rosemary. Jade's going to fly. Jade's going to fly on the Six Sides of Steel. Oh, my goodness, buddy. Jade's going to become knockouts champion. Gail Kim's on her feet. The Impact Zone's on their feet. This could be it. We, have a new ch we could have a new champion here. If Jade can go for the cover here, Jade needs to get the cover. 
She just flew off the of six sides of steel. We need to see it again and again and again as Jade now looks to become knockouts champion. She's got Rosemary down. Hooks the leg and Rosemary kicks out of two. Oh, my goodness. What must Jade do to put Rosemary away? I thought it was over with. At this point, I think Jade's wondering the same thing. And to that point, what is Jade thinking? I just dove off the six sides of steel and this demon... This vixen, this sorceress, kicked out. You know what, though, Josh? To a normal female wrestler, to a normal professional wrestler, that may be what they're thinking. I don't think that's what Jade's thinking. Jade? And I don't think that she's she's giving up. I don't think that that's all she's got in the tank. And, and here she is again. Jade signaling for a 450. Oh! There's the mist! <laughs> right up here in front of us, the yellow mist! The mist of transformation! The Red Wedding for Rosemary! The cover! And Rosemary is Knockouts Champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and new Knockouts Champion, Rosemary! The Knockouts Championship will now decay! Decay, 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 said three times! Because now Rosemary is on top of the knockout's mountain. <laughs> knockout's mountain, that missed. Rosemary said earlier tonight that decay is nature's cockroach that can't be destroyed. And she was out to end Jane's career in Gail's crusade here, and she may have done exactly that. In this battle of red versus blue, red wins. The sorceress delivered Red Wedding to become the new Knockouts Champion. The Demon Assassin of Rosemary and the Age of Shadow prevails. The Hive wins. The following contest is a Monsters Ball match for the Knockouts Championship. Introducing first, making your way to the ring, the challenger, Jay. But this is not your typical Monsters Ball match. This is for the Knockouts Championship. Jade has been involved in this strange rivalry with Rosemary, and it's come to this. Couldn't have come to anything else but Monsters Ball. Between these two, I don't think so. I, I think Rosemary did everything she could to try to get inside the head of Jade. It didn't work, and this is the result, resort that she came to. Five-time Knockouts Champion Madison Rain joining us here at commentary for this Knockouts Championship match. And now, introducing her opponent. She is the TNA Knockouts Champion, representing DK, Rosemary. She calls herself the Demon Assassin. Talks often about we when referring to herself and the cage like there's a greater power. Talks about joining the hive. Became Knockouts champion inside six sides of steel. Gosh, it's almost like a match, like Monster's Ball was made for someone like Rosemary. And under the tutelage of someone like Abyss, who is the king of a Monster's Ball match, I really think that Rosemary is coming into this with the edge. And as I oh, say Jade. that, Jade proves me wrong. Jade flies through the ring, and Jade wasting little time. Smart strategy by Jade, because Madison Rain, you're exactly right. This match does favor Rosemary, and Jade knew it, and delivered that big dive. Ooh! This rivalry has been so intense. And now here we are, Monsters Ball, anything goes. Notice qualifications, no count outs between Rosemary and Jade. I'm looking forward to seeing what, Ro what, excuse me, what Jade does in this match. Because if you remember, she told Rosemary, you're sick and you're twisted, but so am I. You just haven't seen it yet. And that can be dangerous. So do you think that Jade can match the level of sick and twisted that Rosemary brings every week? 
it's hard to think that anybody could match that level, but it's unseen, it's unknown. Jade refers to herself as the War Queen, and that's exactly what she stepped into here tonight. They call each other My Red and My Blue on social media, and now you can see Rosemary has introduced the weapons of Monsters Ball. And who will utilize these weapons first? Who's more comfortable in this environment, Rosemary? I don't know. I don't know because Ooh. in this element, Jade is such an unknown. And like I said, that can be just as dangerous. Jade's been able to watch Rosemary in an arena like this. Rosemary doesn't know oh. what Jade is going to bring to the table. Thunderous shot with a kendo stick off the back of the former Knockouts champion, Jade. Remember, it was Rosemary who issued the challenge cover and a kick out at two. Do you guys think, and Pope, I, I open the forum to you as well, do you think that Rosemary sort of got Jane in the environment that she wants? So I think we all know that it plays to the environment of hold Jane. That dot, hold that dot, cover hooks the inside leg and a kick out of two. Getting Jane into this environment, we know that favors Rosemary as we see and have witnessed thus far. Jane tried to get the up and up, but Rosemary was able to turn it around. And what I like about what Rosemary has done, she went to the weapons and she continues to use those very weapons. The Keep the advantage. Oh boy. We know what's inside this. And Madison, you brought up a great point earlier that Rosemary has been under the tutelage of the Monster Abyss. He loves what's inside that black bag. I can't believe that I'm witnessing a knockout Monster Balls match. I can't believe that I'm seeing Rosemary introduce Tax into this matchup. Here we go, what does Rosemary have in mind inside her twisted and sick mind? What is Rosemary gonna do? Jade trying to counter. We're on the edge of our seats here. About to cringe as Rosemary tries to turn it around. Jade is gonna have to tap into her mean side. Jade is gonna have to go to a wicked place if she wants to beat Rosemary and survive in this environment. Madison, you talked about Jade being the unknown in this type of match. She looks pretty comfortable right now. Right, and here's the thing. Rosemary tried, oh, Rosemary tried to get into Jade's head by challenging her to hell. Ooh. And that's exactly what Jade's putting Rosemary through right now. Her response to Rosemary was a laugh and a smile, oh. almost as though she was looking forward to something like this. And to your point from earlier, Jade said, I can be just as sick and twisted as you are. You haven't seen it yet. We've seen the cards that Rosemary has. Jade was, oh, not showing her cards to anyone. And now she has brought the level of twisted and sadisticness to Rosemary. My goodness, you know when you're looking, oh, Rosemary. Oh, boy. And you see what she just did with the trash can, but look and at Jade. Jade just launches the trash can. And Rosemary. No. Oh, no, 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 no. A German suplex into the tax. Rosemary down. Jade is new. No, no, a kick out in two. This is why Impact Wrestling is so great. We got the greatest wrestlers, the greatest knockouts, and you're gonna witness some complete, utterly craziness right now in this Muscle Balls match. Madison, have you ever seen two knockouts put it on the line the way these two are right now for the title? Absolutely not. It oh, the, the block, the shield. The oh. only thing that let Rosemary beat Jade inside that steel cage was just taken away from Jade, right new knockouts champion and a kick out. Great, I mean, that, that's exactly how Rosemary won the knockouts championship. And you know what, when you talk about preparing, when you talk about training, the, sometimes in, in the ring, a great defense is a great offense, and we just saw that Jade was able to counter that miss attack, and then she was able to capitalize. What a match here, knockouts, monsters, ball. Go to impactwrestling.com for more details. Rosemary with the table now in the ring. A snap suplex on Jade, floats over, goes for the cover, hooks the leg and a kick out. Madison Wayne, I gotta ask, what are we seeing in the eyes of Rosemary? It almost looks like there's a little bit of nervousness to Rosemary. <laughs> the look on her face may show a little bit of nervousness because in every opponent that she's ever had, 
Gail Kim included, she was able to get into the minds of them and break them down a little bit mentally before the match, and she didn't get to do that with Jade. The specialty of Abyss, the board with barbed wire, has been brought into the ring by Rosemary of Decay. There's no way. Red Wedding, perhaps? Jade fighting for her life, and the knockout title! Oh, look at that! Just drove her into that barbed wire board. Rosemary! is cringing. Rosemary's down. Jade's gonna win yeah. the Knockouts Championship and a kick out in two. Oh. Madison Ray with oh. goosebumps here at ringside after what we just saw. What does Jade have in mind now? Oh boy. Jade's gonna try to trap her. Oh, no, no, no! Rosemary! Jade's proving right now that To the face, to the face of Rosemary. As sick and twisted, quite possibly, as Rosemary. And I'm in a little bit of shock right now because Rosemary couldn't have had a better teacher, a better trainer, a better coach in a match like this than Abyss. Watch this if you can one more time. Jade with a springboard moonsault. One more look. Ah, you gotta just almost shield your eyes. Rosemary! You would never see anything like this. Anyway. And it's all for the Knockouts Championship here tonight at Genesis. Jade now going back to the table that she brought inside the six-sided ring. She clearly has a plan with this. Do you think that she's wondering, what do I have to do next to beat Rosemary? I haven't gotten that not one time in this match from Jade. I really feel like she just hit her hand. She didn't show her hand here in her in the training, in the preparation. You think she likes this kind of match? I think she prepared for this kind of match. Whether she likes it or not, I don't know how anybody could. Oh, Jade likes this matchup because <laughs> she's been able to dish out the punishment and, now, and make Rosemary pay. Trying to put Rosemary away once and for all. Rosemary on the table inside the six-sided ring. Jade up on the top rope, calling for a 450. Jade no way. is in control right now of the Knockouts Championship, and Rosemary counters. Last-ditch effort by Rosemary to try to stay alive in this match. These two knockouts have a lot of hatred for one another, and they're showing it here. You have to hand it to Rosemary right now. After everything that Jade has put her through in this match, no other woman would be standing, let alone climbing. Here we go. Rosemary, she countered Jade. Rosemary, she's got Jade up, perched up on the top rope. No, 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 no way! A superplex through the table! Shoulders down, and Rosemary is able to retain her Knockouts Championship. The winner of the match, and still Knockouts Champion, Rosemary. Look, I'm gonna say this. Over the past six or seven months, women's wrestling has been taken to a new level. No matter where you watch on what particular night, However, what we just saw here tonight on Impact has set the bar for a brand new standard, and Rosemary holds the gold. And there's Gail Kim, Hall of Famer. She's friends with Jade. She's out here to, to make sure that Jade's okay. We know that Gail is still recovering from injury. But Rosemary able to retain. Obviously, Jade. Gail concerned with Jade. Yeah, you know, both of those knockouts came out here. They gave it their all. And Madison, you know how emotional it can be at times when you've been pummeled and you just come up that close. You almost had it. Absolutely. And the, the friendship, the sisterhood that Jade and Gail have established, and you know, Jade has been getting training and tutelage from her mentor. Her Rosemary. Uh -oh. Rosemary is slithered back inside the ring. Yo, needs to turn around. And there's the purple mist to the eyes of Gail Kim from Rosemary. Gail Kim's been blinded. Rosemary loves.
loves it. Look at her. Look at her laying on the floor laughing. What she just did. To an already injured Gail Kim. Gail Kim can't see. And Rosemary couldn't be happier about what she's done here tonight on Impact. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a last knockout standing match for the Unified Knockout Championship. Introducing first, from the Valley of the Shadows, the challenger, Rosemary. Up until slam of her three, she looked to be unstoppable. However, in the unification match, where there was one GFW Unified Knockouts champion, Sienna emerged victorious tonight in a last knockout standing match made by Karen Jarrett here last week. Rosemary now has an opportunity at revenge. All I know is folks looking at the way Rosemary walked down the ramp, knees turned in, she's focused. Rosemary is on her A game and Sienna better bring it tonight. Her opponent from Detroit, Michigan. She is the Unified Knockouts Champion and accompanied to the ring by KM, Sienna! Earlier tonight, I said it was too close to make a prediction in this match. After seeing both of these knockouts, I'm going to make a prediction. Sienna retains tonight. The GFW Unified Knockouts Champion, along with KM makes her way to the ring, and this lady has been on a terror as of late in a power struggle with not only Karen Jarrett, but of course the returning Gail Kim, who made her thoughts known as well. Regardless, you are looking at the first ever Unified Knockouts Champion and Rosemary wasting no time. This is a last knockout standing match. Got to incapacitate your opponent to the point where they cannot answer the referee's 10 count. No pinfalls, no count outs, no disqualifications. Only one way to win. Pope, what's the strategy going in if you're Rosemary? Well, you know, strategy is this. You just keep going full speed ahead like Rosemary is doing. And if she does what she does best, talk about Rosemary, she comes out on top. Pope's still trying to figure out what gypsy is packed up and left town and made Joshua here, the fortune teller, on site. Have to wonder what Karen Jarrett and the intentions are of this more measure of revenge against Sienna after all the harsh words. Knowing that this is Rosemary's type of matchup, a last knockout standing match as she executes a perfectly good suplex and now heads outside the ring. Yeah, and she'll let referee Brian have her count here. I don't think she's done enough to defeat Sienna, but enough to think about her next move, and her next move is this table. And Pope, why don't you make a prediction? I'm bold enough to make one. Go ahead, no one's stopping you. Well, obviously, Pope is gonna stand with Rosemary. I think Rosemary has been one of the most dominant knockout champion there is, and she's looking to reclaim her throne. Both knockouts at the top of their game. Obviously, we saw that slam anniversary for the majority of 2017 into the new year. Rosemary stood on top of the knockouts mountain, however, now, facing a situation where she is the challenger and not the champion. Rosemary will look to put away Sienna now. Pope, you can have an opinion, even if it is wrong. Well, when it comes to plunder, we know that field, it plays to the advantage of Whoa. Rosemary. Not so fast, nearly being sent into that table by Sienna, and now look out. Rosemary so dangerous, yet Sienna is able to find a way <laughs> to defend with these right hands, these left jabs. I love it. I love it. It's not too often that you see a competitor take another competitor's attire or shirt, put it over their head, and use it. That's what it's for. Brian Hebner now making the count as Sienna takes this time to go outside the ring with KM, consult maybe on what the next move is. And, I mean, only knows what's underneath that ring. What is Sienna doing? Oh, no. Sienna. Sienna has a table. And Rosemary has answered the count of the official. Sienna realized that, that was going to happen. She's thinking of her next move, and it's the table on the outside with KM watching guard. Well, that's certainly an indication of how much 
These two dislike each other. Last knockout standing. This has been months in the making, and it's coming to a head here tonight on Impact for the GFW Unified Knockouts Championship. It's all about who can be the last knockout standing, who can incapacitate their opponent to the point where they cannot answer the referee's 10 count. The ring is being filled with steel chairs courtesy of Sienna. Look at that, Sienna and Rosemary, both with steel chairs. It's a last knockout standing match. Fight to the finish, and it's a stand -off. Back and forth action, and that table is standing up in the ring, and a table on the outside, chairs everywhere. This has gone out of control, Pope. Yeah, like Gerbine and Venus Williams, except they have steel chairs. Yeah, it was like that, but much more violent. A duel between Rosemary and Sienna in this last knockout standing match. Look out, Sienna now, telling the crowd to move, and there goes <laughs> Rosemary telling the crowd to move, rather, and Sienna set flying over the protective rail and ringside, and now they are going up into the crowd. Look out. This is a last knockout standing match. No rules wherever it ends up. It ends up, you just gotta get to your feet by the 10 count. This is where Rosemary is gonna excel. This is where Rosemary will be more dominant and more dangerous. Anything goes in this environment. You can win this match out here. That's why referee Brian Hebner is with the two knockouts right now. Sienna looks to be in a bad way as these two are fighting up in the crowd. Last knockout standing match. Back and forth action. Sienna on the left, Rosemary on the right. And these two have been battling back and forth since the belt. This is a dangerous and precarious situation for both champion and challenger. You think? There's no padding down there. You can't stand right here. But if one of those knockouts go over the rail, they're going to crash to the floor. And what on earth? Is, no. What is Rosemary? We've seen this before in the ring, but never on a tense post. It's a reverse tarantula from Rosemary, and no one can stop it. And the referee can just stand there. She's tapping out, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like Rosemary's hanging upside down like a bat. Rosemary can hang however she wants to because she's been very effective with that last maneuver. Rosemary taking it to Sienna. Knockouts championship on the line. Last knockout standing match will continue when we return. We are back. It's a last knockout standing match. Sienna versus Rosemary for the GFW Unified Knockouts Championship. And this has gone all over the building. Rosemary with the advantage during the break, and she is being relentless. She wants revenge from Slammiversary, where the championships were unified, and Sienna became the lone knockouts champion. Big clothesline by Sienna on Rosemary. This is all because Sienna called out Karen Jarrett last week. There was chaos amongst the knockouts, and it led us to this incredible match here tonight. You would think that folk would learn not to call out Karen Jarrett, but hey, it's a teaching lesson, and I'm just being learned right here. Let me ask this, what's the issues between Karen Jarrett, Bruce Pritchard, and Dutch Mantel? Well, you know what, that's one that we gotta try to figure out as well. well obviously what we've seen, dissension, and kind of wondering Bruce Pritchard's motives in a lot of the decisions we've been seeing lately, but wow, look at these two. Back and forth, Rosemary. Sienna, last knockout standing, championship on the line. Slammiversary rematch here tonight on Impact, and look out, look out, Sienna has Rosemary up. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, AK-47 to the floor by Sienna. Rosemary may not get up. Let's take a look at that again. Cringe-worthy as you look at this AK-47, referee Brian Hebner to three. I don't think Rosemary answers the 10 count. After what we have seen, back and forth action. And let's not forget, Sienna is down as well. The count will apply to Sienna if both knockouts are down. That will be the determining factor. Sienna is up. And now, Rosemary up to her feet. This match continues. My hair, Rosemary was able to get to her feet, but she is weakened, and you can see it. Ooh. Oh, wow! 
just swarmed for the fences. Sienna gets leveled by Rosemary. Let's take another look at this. Sienna went for the silencer, and Rosemary turns it around and knocks it out of the park, and now the champion's down. And you still got to know that Rosemary didn't get all of it the way that she wanted to, but it was effective nonetheless. Rosemary now scouting out this situation. Very dangerous predicament for the defending champion, Sienna, who's flat on her stomach, slow to get to her feet. The referee, Brian Hebner, counting Sienna, and Rosemary allowing it to happen and gets to her feet right at nine. Well, you know why Rosemary did that? That's because Sienna has to use her energy to get up. Oh, look out, swing and a miss from the championship title belt. Here comes Sienna. Oh, a steel chair courtesy of Rosemary, and both knockouts are down, and the count again begins. That was I don't know how many times we've ever seen a red wedding to a steel chair. Incredible. We've seen red weddings on top of the stage, but never like that onto a steel chair. Both are down now. We'll either answer the count. The champion's advantage does lie with, with Sienna. Oh, come on. KM now. That's just, bl I mean, the. No disqualification in this one, not illegal, but come on. KM just gets in and literally saves the championship from, from changing hands. Takes Sienna, and now this Ooh. is gonna be, I have a feeling some punishment coming Sienna's way, courtesy of Rosemary. From Rosemary, I'm not putting that chair down. I'm gonna keep whacking away on the back of Sienna until she's incapacitated. Yeah, but Rosemary knows that KM's out there. He needs to be equalized. And just like that, it's, oh no. I mean, Rosemary could just as well use that trash can on KM, take him out of the situation, but instead throws the trash can into the ring. And what are we gonna see here from Rosemary? We've seen her go coast to coast. Can Rosemary do it again and become knockouts champion? What in the world is this? Look out, KM now to the, of course, KM to the ring apron. Oh! Miss KM right in the face. Oh, oh no, <laughs> through the table. Wow, what a, did you see her head hit that table? What a hard landing for Rosemary. I mean, she looks to be out. Look at the table. The table just shattered. Rosemary haven't moved. Sienna's down as well. Uh, we're looking at a, Double count-out situation here. Both knockouts are down. Rosemary not, not moving. Doesn't look like she's going to make it to her feet. Is it nine? And Sienna makes it to her feet on a 10 count, and that's it! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still unified knockouts champion, Sienna! Up maneuver. Sienna couldn't make it to her feet. All she did was roll out to the floor, gain enough balance at nine to stop herself from getting counted out. Sienna, of course, at that point, not eligible to lose the match. However, Rosemary hadn't moved since she went through the table and suffered a very hard landing. Sienna is still champ. Let's take a look at how it all went down. It's an incredible match. They went all the way out to the impact zone. This reverse tarantula from Rosemary, the AK-47 from the apron, and then this with the steel chair. Seattle was looking for the sound, but she was caught. Rosemary laid her out with the red wedge to the steel chair, and then KM gets missing. And that's where Sienna took an opportunity. The garbage can. Rosemary goes through the table of her head. It's the metal of that table. She hasn't moved since. She is going to need medical attention. There's no question about it. Bottom line is Sienna victorious and still the champion. Scheduled for one fall is a Demon's Dance match. Introducing first, making her way to the ring from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. This is Taya Lucari. She is Lucha 
royalty. She is Taya Valkyrie, and the collision course that she has been on with Rosemary has been building for nearly a year. This is Demon's Dance, anything goes. For these two knockouts, Sanjay, it can only be settled like this. Like you said, this thing has been brewing for months and months, and it's gonna come to a head in a demon's dance. Taya Valkyrie has given Rosemary the road to Valhalla on the stage. She has gone after Rosemary. Rosemary attacked Taya in the locker room area, sprayed mist in her face, left her for dead. And now these two will go one-on-one -on -one here tonight. And now, introducing her opponent, making her way to the ring from the Valley of Shadow, Rosemary. She is, without question, one of the most unique individuals on the Impact roster. A former Knockouts champion, Rosemary, the Demon Assassin, and Sanjay, I ask you this. The winner of this match, are they next in line after Sue Young to challenge for the Knockouts Championship? That's a great point, Josh. The winner of this match, it will definitely catapult them to the top of the Knockouts division. And this Demon's Dance is gonna be very interesting, especially when the Impact Zone is 100% behind Rosemary. There is no question that Rosemary has captured the hearts and imaginations of the Hyblings, not only here in Orlando, but all over the world. Speaking of Orlando, speaking of the Knockouts Championship, we know it's gonna be Ali and Sue Young on April 22nd. They're both keeping a close eye on this main event Knockouts match. This thing is gonna get wild. This thing is gonna get crazy. I don't know if the ring can contain this action. Demons dance, anything goes. And a takedown by Rosemary. A takedown by the Demon Assassin. Spilling outside already, Josh. Look at this. And again, there are no count outs. Anything goes in Demon's Dance. These two are like yin and yang. They're so opposite from each other. Oof. That ramp. Rosemary's ate that ramp a couple times after Taya planted her with a road to Valhalla on two separate occasions on the top of that ramp. Earlier, and we yeah, oh! she's going for it again, Josh. Taya Valkyrie is looking for a road to Mahalo, looking to put away Rosemary. Come on, Taya. Yeah. Rosemary fights free Sanjay. Earlier, we showed everyone what Rosemary is capable of. Thanks to Global Wrestling Network, you saw Rosemary and Jade, six sides of steel. She's been involved in some of the most incredible matches we've ever seen. She's been in a monster's ball in the past. She's done it all. She is no stranger to violence. And these two are no stranger to the stage. They've been up here before. Uh -oh. Rosemary looking for Red uh -oh. Wedding. Oh, what an wow. apple. And now, no, no, no. Taya's got her locked up. No, she can't do this again for a third time. Oh. It, it, it appears to me, Sanjay, and tell me if I'm wrong, that, it, that Rosemary's Ooh. found a way. She sort of sprawls out when Taya's looking for the road to Valhalla. Is that a good way to count it? Absolutely. When you spread your weight like that, she spreads her legs wide. It totally blocks the maneuver. There's no way for Taya to hoist her up to the height that she needs to appropriately plant her with road to Valhalla. So Rosemary is learning how to counter the most powerful move that Taya has, the road to Valhalla. What does that do for Taya? Does she start to think, I can't connect? Wait a second. Oh! Ah, on the top of the guardrail. Planted her. This is violent. Right in front of the Hivelings too, Josh. So Rosemary. as Rosemary has learned, Absolutely. Taya is adapting, and here we go. Ooh! Rosemary's no stranger to the road to Valhalla. 
She's been planted with that maneuver many times in the past, and you learn from your mistakes. But now, look at Taya introducing steel chairs into the picture. This is our main event. This is Demon's Dance. But don't forget later tonight, Josh. We're going to take you back to WrestleCon. It all went down last Friday night. An incredible weekend. Impact Wrestling versus Lucha Underground. The biggest crossover event of the year. And we'll take you back to New Orleans following this matchup. Absolutely. You and I were there, Josh. What an absolutely action-packed night. Jeremiah Crane versus Eddie Edwards in an I Quit match. We will forever remember Impact Wrestling versus Lucha Underground because it changed the main event for redemption on the 22nd. We're going to show you all the happenings from WrestleCon coming up next. Rosemary puts on the brakes. Taya Valkyrie set up the steel chair between the top and middle rope, and it may come to back to backfire. Oh, Whoa, good block. Ooh. Great block there by Taya Valkyrie. Ooh, nice Sanjay, back elbow. If it comes down to this, this match, if it breaks down to a complete fight, who does that benefit? That's a tough call there, Josh. This is a Divas oh, dance. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. And like we mentioned earlier, Rosemary is no stranger to violence. She's no stranger to six sides of steel. She's no stranger. Oh. Whoa, double knees onto the chair right, oh man, right in her face. Let's take another look at the speed and velocity of Taya Valkyrie. Look, those double knees are devastating in itself, but then you plant a steel chair right in your face. I can't imagine what Rosemary's going through. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at the agony in her face, Josh. It tells the entire story of what Taya Valkyrie just did. Is this it? Is this to it? Rosemary cover, hooks the outside leg, shoulders down, and Rosemary kicks out at two in the Demon's Dance. Things are getting violent. Things are getting out of control here, Josh. Things got out of control earlier, and uh, you weren't here for it, but we saw the return of the hardcore legend Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer's got to be loving this matchup. He's going to be loving what's going to happen April 22nd in a House of Hardcore Rules match. It's Tommy Dreamer teaming with Eddie Edwards and Moose to take on OVE. Did you see Taya Valkyrie bounce off that steel chair? Rosemary planted her with a sling blade on top of that steel chair, Josh. What's she got in mind now? Four steel chairs, a ladder. <laughs> Talk about up in the ante, Josh. What else is going to happen in this matchup? Rosemary has introduced a listen, ladder. Listen to that crowd. Sorry to cut you off, Josh, but listen to the crowd. This can only be used as a weapon. There's nothing hanging high above the ring. That ladder is in the ring as a weapon. A weapon of destruction. And Rosemary springboards Whoa. off the ladder. That was impressive. Big time forearm. Yes. Yes. And Rosemary looking for a throw. Taya just powers her back, no? Oh, that, that kind of backfired there. Snap suplex to block it. Taya floats over into the cover, took her some time. Well, that cost her, and Rosemary was able to kick out at two. You can see how much they've been through, Sanjay. Taya didn't float over after that suplex. It was a, li it was a little slower. She was moving just a little slower. You got to think, Josh, after this matchup, whoever comes out on top, this may put an end to this rivalry. Rosemary's down. Taya Valkyrie with those. Oh, my. Whoa. There's only one Rosemary, and you can see her on Impact Wrestling each and every week. Nice forearm shot to the corner. Shoot reversal into that ladder. Oh! <laughs> Rosemary had Taya spinning, and she lands back first into a steel ladder. What else is there? <laughs> what she got in mind now? Oh! We've got steel chairs, we've got ladders, and now Rosemary has introduced a table. The Demon's Dance allows for Rosemary to implement any weapon she wants. She's got a table. 
This spells trouble for Taya Valkyrie. This is right up Roseberry's alley. This sort of violence taking it to the next level. This is really to the advantage of Roseberry, Josh. Table set up in the center of the ring. What could she possibly have in mind with that table? Bad intentions for Taya Valkyrie. Oh, and there's the my. chair! Are you kidding Did me? Taya bait her in. Shoulders down. Taya hooks the leg and Rosemary kicks out. Sante, did you see How? the way Taya placed herself? Did you hear her head connect with that chair, Josh? How did she kick out after that shot? That was a thud that reverberated through the entire impact zone. Can Rosemary fuel herself off of the energy from the Hivelings? She's done it before, Josh. She's got to do it now. Rosemary placed on the table. Taya Valkyrie is looking to put away. Rosemary wants it for all. Lucha Royalty wants to end this rivalry. Uh-oh. Oh. Rosemary with a kick. Wow, what a block. Just kicked the shin of Taya Valkyrie. These two knockouts are giving it everything they have here tonight. Josh, I love, I love the knockouts, and I love this form of violence that Rosemary's implemented here. Neither one of these two can move on until they get rid of the other one. Wait a second. Wait a second, Josh. From the top rope, look, look at Taya's hand. Good block Flipsy. there. Oh. Taya has scouted this violence very well. Oh. Road to Valhalla. No way. Get out of here. Rosemary fights free. Trying for the red wedding. She's got one foot on that table, Josh. Taya fighting for her life again. No, no, no. Headbutts, headbutts by Rosemary. You can feel the tension and the emotion as these two are teetering uh -oh. right in front of the table. All the way to the top now. What does she have in mind? Josh? Oh, Pile oh. driver! Pile driver through the table off the top! Rosemary has won the Demon's Dance! The winner of the match, Rosemary! It felt like they were suspended in midair over what was certainly going to be the ending and the conclusion of this odyssey between Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie. Sanjay, it could have gone either way, anyway. I, I honestly can't believe what I just saw. A pile driver off the top through a table. Unbelievable. And Rosemary now look towards the future. Look towards the Knockouts Championship and bid adieu to Taya Valkyrie. Sanjay, take us through this. They went back and forth. Road to Valhalla, Taya Valkyrie tried, Rosemary blocked it, and finally, a pile driver off the top through a table. Can you believe that, Josh? Look at the impact through that table. There was no getting up from that. Rosemary can now celebrate with the Hivelings. Think about everything these two have gone through, everything that they've done to each other, and it ends tonight. It ends here. It ends with Demon's Dance. What a victory for the Demon Assassin. Gentlemen, the opening match at Hard to Kill is a knockout Ultimate X match. Yeah! Introducing the participants first from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. D'Lo Brown, what a night this could be for the, the newly mentioned Mrs. Cardona, Chelsea Green. Absolutely. In, in, a, in a business where there are very few firsts, this is the first knockout X division. Ultimate X match, and man, oh man, sit back and enjoy. The winner claims a future Impact Knockout Women's World Title match. Must claim the X above the ring to do so.
this dangerous type of match. And that's the hard part because she has so much attitude, so much so much anger. I can see her using that, channeling that to get the win, or I can see her imploding and just getting left in the dust. It is a hard thing to navigate. Has had a lot of help, admittedly, from Savannah Evans for a number of weeks and months ever since they became uh, close. And now you say that Savannah Evans is not out here with Tasha Steele, so think about that. I cannot wait to see these competitors compete in the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match. Hey, Tom, it's getting a little cold in here. Stay frosty, baby. From the Ice Gardens of Bobbington Estates, Lady Frost! You have to admire the gall of Lady Frost. She has only had a, a handful of matches here as a part of Impact Wrestling, but she said right to the management of Impact that I want to compete in Ultimate X, that this is something I've dreamed of. But you call it gall, I call it intensity, I call it courage to know your worth, to know she can go out there and compete at the highest level with the best knockouts in this company. I think about it, this is an opportunity 19 years in the making, the first ever Ultimate X match. Michael Shane defeating Chris Sabin and Frankie Kazarian for the X Division Championship. And now these women get to write their names in history in this first ever opportunity. Yeah, write their names in history, but then the prize for winning this is a coveted shot to be the number one contender for the Impact Knockouts World Championship. From Austin, Texas, the Impact Digital Media Champion, Jordan Grace. If somebody's gonna get their ass kicked in this match, Jordan Grace is gonna do it. Yeah, the, 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 the native Texan right there is being, being welcomed home, and you can see the intensity in her eyes. She loves playing at, with home field advantage. First time ever digital media champion, first time ever Knockouts Ultimate X winner. That's a nice and ring to it. Could history repeat itself in two different ways? Well, we'll see. From Boston, Massachusetts, and what a whirlwind the last 24 hours has had to have been for Alicia, who is a late addition to this match, of a late replacement, all of a sudden, the opportunity of a lifetime. And it's an opportunity she's always wanted and always wished for. She wants to play on a bigger stage. Well, tonight's the night for Alicia Edwards to show the world exactly what she can do. And by the way, happy birthday, Alicia. Happy birthday. Could be a great way to spend your birthday if you walk out with a future Impact Knockout world title opportunity down the line. And the high comes to their feet. And finally, from the Valley of the Shadows, representing DK, Rosemary. There is something about Rosemary that when you inject her into this match, <laughs> Ultimate X, yeah. anything can happen. She's captivating, she draws you in. It's almost like a Black Widow drawing you in for the kill. She takes you over almost a hip hypnotic kind of state, but Rosemary uses that, and she will use it tonight in this match. I remember being a fan from afar, watching the origins of Decay, Abyss, and Crazy Steve, and Rosemary coming to light as a part of that darkness. And now Rosemary has this opportunity to threaten whomever will be the future Impact Knockouts World Champion. Will that be Mickey James or Deanna Perrazzo by the end of tonight when we see a Texas death match for the title? And that'll be decided later on tonight, but first, the Knockouts Ultimate X is about to get started. History in the making here in an Impact Wrestling ring. This is a special moment in women's wrestling because the whole point is to go from first time ever to commonplace. Yeah, this is about equality. This is about opportunity. In this match, there are no countouts, no disqualifications. To win, you must retrieve the X hanging above the ring and hit the canvas with possession of the X. And look at this, a moment of pause here by all the ladies in it, taking this all in. You've earned this, take it in. 
And here we go. It's already trending. Hashtag hard to kill. And already Grace and Steels are trying to climb the steel beams. Yeah, and that's a smart strategy. Get up to the X quickly. Don't take any any damage you don't need to and go right for the X. Very smart, trying to scramble early, trying to end this early, because the longer it goes, the, well, the worse you're going to feel. Yeah, and, and the harder it will be to climb and navigate those ropes. Oh, oh. blockbuster there from Chelsea Green. We talked about how much is on the mind of Chelsea Green. Four years since she had the knockout world title. So many ups and downs for her in her career. Every time Philo she gets going, something happens. It's a series of stop and starts. She goes, breaks an arm, comes back, recovers breaks an arm again. Now Chelsea Green is healthy. Can she use this momentum and start this run and keep it going? Steals flips into the ring. Remember, no count outs, no disqualifications. There goes Chelsea Green. And now Tasha Steals trying to do it all on her own. And Tasha trying to take the early advantage right there. Going Crucifix. up against the strongest competitor by far in this matchup. Oh, in this matchup, in the company. Oh! That hurt my spine just watching that. Here, Jordan is taking over. And now Steele's dumped out of the ring right at the feet of Lady Frost and Alicia. And now Jordan glancing up, but there's Rosemary. Back elbow there by Rosemary. Oh! Rosemary was able to pin Tennille Dashwood of the influence in an eight-person tag last month. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Look at that. Coming down the ramp there. That is Savannah Evans. Oh, the partner of Tasha Steeles, who just ate a DDT, courtesy of Jordan Grace and D'Lo. There are no disqualifications. It, yes. This is all legal. This is all legal, and it was, Savannah didn't come in at first because it was timely. This was perfectly timed here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, in the ring, it's Havoc. Havoc of Decay. Oh, and look, it's boosting Rosemary up almost at the X. Rosemary's trying to grab the X, and Chelsea oh. Green takes down that. And a, a big drop kick there from Chelsea Green. I and mean, now Havoc is out. I mean, why climb the beams and go through those cables when you can just lift somebody up? It, it, you know brilliant. what? No DQ, use it. And Green and Alicia trying to scale this beam. And this, this is one of the most dangerous areas on the outside of the structure, elevating yourself up. Oh my Chelsea God! Chelsea Green and Alicia! Putting it all on the line to make history. And, and you see there, referee Daniel Spencer making sure the competitors are good to go, making sure they can continue. Yeah, I'd like to see a replay of this. Look at this. Both ladies oh. take everyone out. Alicia catching her foot in the ring skirt there. Uh-oh, Lady Frost Wait is coming minute. up. Back to live action. Oh. Lady Frost! The Daredevil! Lady Frost has no fear whatsoever. Now, with, with the ring to herself, Lady Frost is climbing up. At putting herself in, uh, with some distance between herself and the rest of the field, and now, oh, there is Jordan Grace closing the gap. And Jordan quickly got over there. And now, Jordan's climbing up the structure. Uh, Lady Frost, oh, face first off of the steel. You can see the X hanging in the middle of those two cables. And, and Jordan's going way up. Now, now, if anyone can traverse these cables, it's Jordan. She's got this, one of the strongest grips. I've seen this woman deadlift 500 pounds. The strength, the power, and the endurance. And now look at Grace make her way towards the X. And she's doing with ease. Oh, but look behind her. And Jordan's holding the weight of two. Lady Frost trying to tear down Grace, and now Rosemary involved. And now Rosemary, oh, all sent flying there by Frost, but look at Grace. Jordan is still up there. Oh, and a kick there by Steeles, and now Steeles trying to pull Grace down, and you can understand Grace was holding on to that grip for a good 30 plus seconds. Yeah, with the weight, with the weight of Lady Frost. Uh oh. Some unique alliances in these multi-competitor matches. And now, Chelsea Green going up. What a honeymoon this would be for the Cardona family. That's what Matt and Chelsea called this opportunity here. Hard to kill for both of them, considering they just got married on New Year's. And Chelsea scaling out now. Oh, oh lost grip, Chelsea. lost grip. Chelsea nearly got there and then crashed into Tasha Steeles. 
Oh. Now, Rosemary's trying to ascend up. Oh, I, wait a minute. Unless she's got Kendra. And I've heard she's a little uh, obsessive with Kendra. Oh, yeah. Very liberal with her. She, oh. will, she will do a punishment to anybody with Kendra. Oh. oh. And now just waylaying Rosemary with Kendra. And Havoc looking on from the outside. And now Alicia trying to make the climb here inside the factory in Dallas, Texas. And now I, I will say that, you know, with, with, with Alicia being the lightest competitor in here, it may be to her advantage to get up there. I love that she's doing this in Jordans. Good for her. Oh, she's, she's shimmying out. Smart way to go out there. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Che Chelsea's got Kendra. And, and Alicia's looking at her. And Rosemary's right there. Oh, my God! Maybe the slight distraction of Chelsea Green holding on to Kendra got the attention of Alicia. Well, you could see Alicia was looking back at Chelsea. And now everyone's down. But look, Tasha Steele is up. Tasha Steele is up. Tasha all by herself here on the cables, but here comes Jordan Grace. And Jordan's quickly behind her. And look at how close Steele is to the X. Trying to get to the center of these cables. Oh, my God. And once again, Steele. Steele's trying to beat Grace there, but Grace is going to be able to hold on to this for much longer, even though she was doing this same uh, exercise minutes ago. Oh, no! No, no, no! Tailbone first for both women into the mat. Look at this. Look at this spear here. And then this. I'm telling you right now, look at this. Oh. It, it's like, it looked like a sky high from 18 feet in the air. You would like that, wouldn't you? Of course I would. Uh, oh, wait a minute, look at the far side of your screen there, left side, it's Lady Frost going up the steel beam. And, and I wonder if Lady Frost's gymnastic background can help her in a match like this. And Lady Frost, you see she's looking at her footing and, and getting her grip. Temperature drop! Wow! Two words for Lady Frost, no fear. Winter has arrived in Texas. Lady Frost taking out competition at ringside. Look at this, Lady oh. Frost from the top of the structure. Lady Frost just with the temperature drop and hold now. On, hold on, wait a minute, back to live action. Jordan Grace is back up on the cable. Jordan Grace is scaling out, and she's doing with ease. You see her looking over her shoulder, looking for Tasha Steele. Jordan Grace is getting close. Tasha Steele trying to mix things up a little bit. Look at Jordan Grace change her position to get defensive. Well, but that's good because now all the weight is off Jordan's arm. She's wrapping her legs around, around the cable. Oh, but look, whoa, 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 Chelsea whoa. Green. Chelsea Green trying to go for the opposite oh. cable, and now goes Grace in a heap. And now it's Green and Steele. Both women trying to unhook the X. You've got to gain sole possession of the X. And you gotta you gotta get down to back to the ring. Both, both. Oh, both, got, they, got both have gotta hit the can both. one of them's gotta hit the canvas with the X. Yes! Tasha Steel yes! wins the first ever knockouts ultimate X. Here's your winner, Tasha Steel. Tasha Steel makes history. And just as Tasha Steel's made history. Chelsea Green came within a heartbeat of securing the X. Again, you have to retrieve the X and get down to the canvas with the X. Sole possession of the X. Tasha Steele has secured a future Impact Knockouts World Title match. Right there, Tasha Victorious holding the X up for the world to see. This is how Tasha did it. Secured the X and just launched herself down to the canvas to get the win. An impressive, impressive win here for Tasha Steele.